Welcome to the fifth lesson. You are well on your way to learning Zapier in 14 days. In the last video, we saw how Zoe, the taco truck owner, was able to quickly and efficiently respond to reviews of her business using AI to help her with the reply. Now Zoe is expanding. She is needing to hire new teammates to come on board and help her out. We'll be looking at an employee directory that she created in Zapier Tables that stores all the information for employees and also allows her to kick start a onboarding process that takes new hires through a series of steps and sends them a link to a Zapier canvas that outlines all the different processes that go into powering Zoe's taco truck business. We'll start in that Zapier table. Zoe is needing to onboard these new employees. And the way she's gonna do that is by clicking a button in the Zapier table. And of course, this is linked to a Zap. So let's look at what that Zap entails. We'll click in and see all that goes into it. Of course, the trigger is to start with that button that Zoe presses. And then there's a few things that are gonna happen. The first thing is that the Zap is gonna find the next onboarding event in a calendar that holds all those events. Once it's found, it will add the new hire to that onboarding event. So they're gonna get an email notification and it will be put on their calendar. Then in the chat app that they use, send a welcome message to the team, letting them know about this new hire. And the last two pieces are one, inviting that new hire into the Zapier account and lastly, sending that email. The email is going to have the first week checklist along with a link to the canvas that shows all the processes that they need to review for the day. So we can see when that zap run, they get invited to the Google Calendar event. They get an email inviting them to join Zapier. This is the email that a new hire is going to receive. They're going to see the checklist for the week, the date of the first onboarding event that that automation found and invited them to, and also a link to this canvas. And through this canvas, we can see that Zoe has mapped out all of the processes that we've built over the last few lessons. It allows you to create living diagrams that are active and change anytime you update a zap, for instance, it will reflect here so everyone can stay on the same page without thinking, ah, oh, is this outdated? Does this need to be updated? As a new hire, I could come in here, click into these steps and actually go visit the tables and visit the pages, the forms, the zaps and the automation that run the entire business. We've seen Zoe do so much, automate and build so much for her business using Zapier. And if you haven't already now, it is your turn to give it a try. But don't worry, you're still not alone. Over the next few days, we're gonna send you details about how to get live help during our Zapier 101 webinar. And we'll also talk through what plan might be best for you in your business. Thanks for coming along on the ride. We'll see you soon.